Hello and welcome to Monsters of Tabletop. My name is Travis and today I'm going to show you how I make maps for my 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons campaign using a really cool tool called uh, Dungeon Painter Studio and assets from 2 Minute Tabletop. Hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to show you how I make maps for my tabletop campaign. Um, I use a program called Dungeon Painter Studio. Uh, you can get it on Steam for like 15 or 20 bucks. And I primarily use map assets from Two Minute Tabletop. Um, you can find it on Patreon. Uh, it's a guy named Ross. He makes all of these uh, map assets, and most of them are free. Uh, some of them have. Um, I, I think he's got like some some premium versions, but uh, he does really cool work. It's really like cartoony. Um, yeah, but it's cool stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna put something together here, uh, just like a quick map. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can just make a make a building. All right, so one thing I like to do is make sure nothing's sticking to the grid. Otherwise, they're just going to lock into this grid, and I don't think they look very good like that. Um, yeah, so you've got a lot of tools up here based on whatever asset you are using. Um, you can choose to like stamp it or brush it, and if you brush it, you know it's kind of uh, kind of weird there, um, and you've got a kind of like a layer thing over here, like if you're like using Photoshop or something. Um, but yeah, so here's one room. Um, we can add other rooms on. You know, if we want to add a room there, uh, we can throw one right there. So now we've got two adjoining rooms, and kind of like a main. Uh, sitting area let's see and for this we're just gonna make like a one story building so here we go we have like a little uh, storage area or uh, I don't know a bathroom maybe over here And let's see, what else do we want to do? Well, we're going to need doors, so throw some doors in here. That's kind of wonky right there, but I think it'll be okay. Door there. And put a door here, and then we'll just close up this here. Uh, yeah, so there's like a basic kind of uh, manor house that you can make with these. Um, I say manor house. It's This isn't really a fancy house. Um, yeah, we can just close that off too. So now that we've got a base for the um the building we can do some other things so uh, with some of these other assets we can start to do some decoration so if we assume down here we've got uh windows kind of leading out here um i actually don't like that so i'm going to block these off because i think i want to put a fireplace right here go fireplace boom got a nice fireplace uh, we can hang out like a deer head on the wall and um, why not a dragon head this guy's killed a dragon uh, we'll put 
the dragon head over here. Um, how about a boar's head? Yeah, so whoever owns this house, they're definitely a hunter. Um, all right, and let's kind of make this a big rug right there for the middle. Uh, gotta have a stack of firewood. We'll put that over here. Um, so this will be the bathroom. So we will take that scale down a little bit and throw some toilets in here. Side by side, why not? Uh, and uh, here, a little pot. Um, yeah, so this is the sitting room. We will hook these guys up with some chairs. Kind of your classic rich man's uh, sitting room where they smoke cigars and stuff. And let's see, what else do we have? I think we need a table in here. Oh, you know what? You know what look really good? Some banners. We'll just put up some banners. Maybe this guy served in a war. He likes to uh, display the colors of, uh, you know, whatever kingdom or barony or duchy that he served. There we go. We'll throw down a coffee table. Um, they're having a nice cup of tea, so put that tea there. You know, I'm just now realizing these are some huge chairs. Uh, if you think about the standard uh, five foot squares. All right, um, let's put some more clutter on this table. Paper and ink, how about that? Yeah, these guys were just signing up a, uh, writing up a document. So they've got some paper and ink on the table. And it's nighttime, so we'll throw a candle in the middle. Let's see. Okay, so we've got two bedrooms. Um, wow, that's big. And that's really small. Tell you what, little bed. How about a little bed? So we've got a bed here. And lock that. Bed here. Oops. Okay. Uh, you know what'll look good? I think we'll throw a few barrels in the bathroom because why not? It's a good storage area. I keep barrels in my bathroom, so I think it'll be fine. Uh, suit of armor. Suit of armor's cool. Throw a suit of armor over here. He likes to maybe display his used armor from the war. Oh, bookshelves, of course. So. We'll put a bookshelf in these rooms. Bookshelf here, bookshelf here. And why don't we throw a bookshelf out here? We've got two bookshelves out here. Uh, you know what? This room is going to be fancy. They've got a uh, bear hide rug. This one, not so fancy. It's the guest room. He's going to keep some storage in here um, with a lot of clutter everywhere. There we go. A little foot locker for the beds.
go. And how about a bedside table? Uh, I think we can use this. It says it's a stool, but you know, it's really kind of just a circle. And we can use that to be a bedside table. Um, this guy knows how to read, so he's got a book on his table. And this guy... Hmm. Um, I think he's kind of messy, so he eats dinner in bed. And, you know, that right there is a pretty filled out map. Um, you could use it, like I said, to be some kind of, you know, rich, retired hunter. Uh, maybe like a moderately sized village, uh, like manor house where the patron of the village lives. Um, possibilities are really endless, but that shows just how easy it is to create maps in a program um, like Dungeon Painter, which I love because it's, it's very, very easy. Um, but you can also do this, uh, you know, in like Photoshop or GIMP or any any other, you know, free utilities out there. So, you know, that's just, it's it's easy, it's really easy. Um, and from, from this point, um, we will export to PNG or JPEG. Uh, make sure you kind of cl click off the coordinates. Um, yeah, leave a transparent background. And you can, you know, if you want to use this on roll 20, um, it's got settings for that. It's got settings for fantasy grounds um, and some of these other things that I, I don't know what they are and I don't use them. Um, I do use roll 20 um, to play online and I use um, a TV uh, mounted at my table for when we play uh, in person. And I project the maps onto that um, to use actual minis on. But yeah, you can choose to show the grid on the result, which if you use roll 20, I would recommend not doing that. Um, and I do use roll 20, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and you can create a PNG or a JPEG. Um, I'm just going to create a PNG. And that's it. It's going to render. And then you'll have your map. Uh, so I hope you learned something or maybe realize just how easy it can be to uh, make you know pretty decent quality maps and once again all the assets I use in this come from two minute tabletop um, the guy's got a free um, a lot of free assets on his patreon um, and you should go check him out I'll put a link to his patreon in the description of the video um, yeah, so thanks.